Refineries are complex chemical processing facilities that convert crude oil to higher value products like gasoline, diesel, and jet fuel. There are five primary activities that go on in the conversion of crude oil to useful petroleum products. Distillation, thermal or catalytic cracking, reforming, isomerization, and treating. Almost every unit in the refinery contains some form of distillation column. Distillation is a physical separation process where the components of a mixture are heated to their boiling point and then condensed. Crude oil is a mixture of carbon-based molecules of various sizes and shapes. The larger the molecule, the higher the temperature required to heat the molecule up to its boiling point or the point at which it converts from liquid to vapor form. Distillation takes advantage of this property of molecules. When crude is heated, the lighter molecules in the mixture evaporate first. If these vapors are allowed to rise and then cool in a separate vessel from the crude mixture, the crude can be separated into its different components. In the refinery, distillation takes place in trade or packed columns. The feed to the column is preheated in a furnace. After the hot vapor and or liquid phase feed enters the distillation column, the lighter vapor phase material flows up through perforated trays and the heavy liquid phase materials flow down by gravity. Distillation columns are reboiled to provide additional heat to support separation. A condenser at the top of the column cools separated light overhead products and returns them to the top of the column as reflux. Therefore, the top of the distillation column is cooler than the bottom of the distillation column. Refiners refer to this as the column's temperature profile. Simple, but what's really going on in the column? Vapor phase molecules rise through bubble caps on the perforated trays. On each tray, there is a liquid level referred to as liquid holdup. As the hot vapors flow through the bubble cap, they encounter liquid on the tray. The hot vapor exchanges heat with the cooler liquid. This vaporizes the lightest materials in liquid and condenses the heaviest material in the rising vapor, allowing for product separation. The lightest vapor phase material in the feed manages to exit the top of the column and is cooled in a condenser, where it is returned to its liquid phase before entering the overhead receiver. The separated, lighter material is then pumped away from the column as product. As mentioned earlier, a portion of the cooled overhead liquid is returned or refluxed back to the column to improve separation. As rising vapors encounter this cooler, reflux material, any entrained material in the vapor condenses and flows back down the column. The heaviest material in the feed is drawn off the bottom of the column. A portion of the bottom's material is recirculated back to the reboiler, which ensures any entrained material in the bottom's product is vaporized and forced up through the column. Cracking is the breaking apart of large molecules into smaller molecules in the presence of heat or a catalyst. The ability to crack less valuable components of the crude into higher value product is the life's blood of a refinery. In addition to cracking, refiners are able to change the shape of less valuable molecules to higher value molecules through reforming and isomerization. Straight chain molecules can be converted to rings or branch molecules which typically have higher octane for the gasoline blending pool or create valuable petrochemical feedstocks. Saturated naphthenic rings can be dehydrogenated to aromatics and hydrogen. Crude oil naturally contains contaminants like organic sulfur and nitrogen compounds and metals like nickel and vanadium from the reservoir. These contaminants result in higher environmental emissions and or refining catalyst deactivation and so must be removed in treating processes. There are many methods of removing contaminants from petroleum products and intermediates, the most common of which are hydroprocessing and amine treating.